Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies, this is Srinivas. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, how to create object for a class in Python object orientation. Here, here in Python object orientation, object oriented programming, just how to create an object for a class. So, that is and here here it is in object orientation as we know that everything we have to place inside the class. What all the statements you have defined inside the class comes under object that is object orientation and to class is any identity you can give something like we can say program, program and inside we can write we can write some variables and we can write some methods and so many things you can write. Now here one important concept is what object creation, object creation a simple process how to create object means, how to create object means by calling the constructor we can create object, we can create object for a class for a class by invoking the constructor, by invoking the constructor. So, here one more question, sir how can we define a constructor, how can we define a constructor, so it is a special method and it is having a special prototype in python, so that is we can say define double underscore initialization like init short form and followed by double underscore and here self it is a variable remember it is not a keyword so briefly about a self we will see in python programming object oriented programming if you want to define class level members without self we are defining if you want to define object level members, so we are defining using self, but remember it is not a keyword, it is just a variable that is we can change the name also, but the most recommended variable to define object level members in python according to python organization that is called a self. So, here inside you can write the logic, inside you can write the logic number of statements you can define inside this is actually called what is object I mean what is constructor in python this is how we have to define so once again just double underscore it is also method only so that is the reason we are using that definition keyword we are defining the constructor using self variable and inside we are writing the logic just by giving the indentation tab space all these things we need to consider. In the process of object creation we need to access this constructor then only object will be created, but how to access the constructor that is a different form. So, that I will show you practically here inside the class now we are defining that define double underscore in it double underscore and here it is we are writing self we are writing self and here it is inside just we are writing we are writing object created object created and this is what we called a constructor of constructor of class and just like a written statement it is optional but it is better to write to, to say as so a means what the uh, the method completes ok. So, this is how to define a constructor in python uh, only this much we have written. So, then how to create object, how to create object suppose you are outside to class, you are outside to class here I am starting 
I want to create object means what? We need to call the constructor. Sir, how to call the constructor? It is also again uh, a different way. We need to call the class name only. See here, program, program that is. Here, whenever we are writing that program, as a method we have to call. See here, actually here we are writing the class name and here it is we are calling the method. So, whenever we are writing like this, this is called, this is called constructor calling. Sir, constructor name is a init na, but we are not using init. We are using this class name. Whenever you write the class name, automatically whatever the constructor which we defined inside the class will execute. That is, see whenever we are executing this program, object created, the constructor is executing. Sir, sir, here how many objects you can create? There is no limitation. There is no limitation, number of objects you can create. See here, how many times you create the object, those many times the constructor execute. Here it is. A we can use loops also to call. For example, three times we are creating object. This is object creation process. Object creation by calling, by calling constructor. So, total three times we are calling program, program, program. So, here it is a three times the constructor execute, three times. See here, whenever we are executing, object created, object created, object created. This is the simple way that how to create the object, how to create the object. This is a very basic program about what is constructor and how to create the object from outside. Sir, suppose, suppose here, here whenever I am not writing any constructor, Inside, I am not writing any constructor, but according to the Python, sir, empty class can you define means what? No, at least we can use that pass. Pass you can say empty. Pass you can represent what? Empty. You can declare, you can define empty blocks, empty loops, empty methods, empty classes with the help of pass. But sir, here whenever we are calling the constructor, actually inside nothing is there that init method is not there. Sir, will it give any error message means what? Whenever we are executing, see look at this, it will not give any error message, just a blank space it is giving, just a blank space it is giving, blank space, it is not giving anything. Sir, why the reason? Because init function is not there and you are calling na? Simple answer, it invokes here it is, it will not give any error message. The reason it invokes default constructor, it invokes default constructor that is. Okay. So, default constructor means what who will write? So, automatically at the time of interpretation, so the default constructor will be written. Okay. See here, here it is a whenever we are calling the constructor. A default constructor is also just like a constructor only, but no no body with empty body. So, that will be executed automatically. That is the reason it is not giving any output, because we did not write anything inside. We cannot write anything inside the default constructor. This constructor will be defined with empty body. So, that is why it is displaying, displaying just null, nothing but empty it is displaying. This is called how to create object what is the constructor like we can say special method init method and what is that self variable and next one what is the default constructor ok. So, hope you understood for more videos so please watch Narayashati Technologies channel. Thank you for all.